Hey, what's up, Shinky person? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will talk about strings dropping eggs and why is that. Uh, however, before we go into today's topic, I wanted to give a special shout out to the South Africa uh, string competition that's going to come uh, in November. So for those who have uh, participated or have sent their entries, you know, like people like Freddy, people like Uncle Peter. So if you have already uh, sent in your entries, uh, really appreciate it. And if you can send a little bit more, one or two more, definitely it will help with the contest. Uh, so at the end of the day, we want to be very sure that, you know, the competition is all about, uh, you know, bettering yourself. So in the sense that you actually compete with yourself. Uh, you have somebody to actually look at your streams, give you uh, give you some tips on how to actually improve. I think that's where we want to provide the additional value in that sense. And for those who have not entered, you know, Uzi, uh, I think the, the Vaders, you know, the New Caridinas group. So <clears throat> put your entries in, so put them as many as you can, maybe four Caridinas and five New Caridinas. So put it up there so that, you know, uh, when I'm there uh, to to provide some you know, information on how to actually grade them, how to actually improve them. I think that's where uh, I often provide this additional value when people uh, in the contest actually ask me, you know, what do you actually see between uh, this and that? And what do you actually, how do you actually uh, improve it in, in that sense? Because for example, uh, colors of legs and uh, the, the shape of the body or you know, deepening, deepening the colors, how, how do we actually do it? Because uh, getting just a stream with great legs and a stream with transparent legs and then you cross them together, it doesn't mean that automatically all the streams will have great legs. So uh, from a color perspective, we need to actually want to see the robustity, you know, the, the entire end-to-end -end of the stream having colors. Uh, that is the color pigmentation. Uh, so that's not like a spot. Uh, spot pigmentation where we want to only enhance the legs, only enhance the, the body. So colors comes throughout the entire stream. So we want to work on that. And that's the type of value that I actually provide in terms of uh, uh, during competition when I actually share all this information to breeders who actually uh, are interested to learn. So there are you know breeders who participated in the contest, uh, come up to me and then ask me, okay, what do you see in this? How do you think I can improve? I think that's where I will uh, take a, uh, a snapshot of, of the picture of the stream and then I will share with him or her uh, directly and saying that, okay, here is where we look at and then they go, ah, that's something that they may not have uh, visualized before or never thought about before. So these are some of the things that uh, we provide the additional value. I think that's where we want, um, we, we, we can actually provide. So for those who have uh, not entered, please, you know, please enter. Uh, it will definitely be uh, a game changer for South Africa because that is the, going to be the very first one. So uh, coming back to today's topic uh, on stream dropping their eggs and what are some of the things or signs that you can do or change or not change or not do, you know, uh, to actually understand why they do uh, the things they do. So for example, you know, over here we can actually see the one of these uh, snowfall female uh, this female has buried before, uh, buried the very first time and then I actually had to do a reset and she dropped all her eggs. So I wasn't, I wasn't like saying, oh, you know, uh, I needed to pay particular attention, what's wrong with my water parameters, have sleepless nights. No, so that's not going to be the case because I know that whenever there's a new change, it could trigger molting, it also could trigger uh, buried. So when the streams are buried, uh, 28 days term, no eggs, uh, I mean no, no babies, the stream has dropped the eggs. This is one of the reason, a new tank syndrome. So they do not have uh, the stability of the tank yet. Which means that as long as they are able to uh, bury, then of course it, it means that there will always be a next time uh, for it to bury and then we can actually see that. Uh, so same for the PRL, uh, new tank syndrome, put it in, plenty of buried, no babies at all. Uh, they even, you know, during the mode, after 28 days, 29 days, they actually molted and then some of the eggs are still remain. Uh, so I took the mold uh, with the eggs and then I just uh, put it in the net and then run it through a filtration, uh, in, in the outlet of the filter. So that's how I do it. If I can save them, great. If I cannot, I... I, I, I wouldn't lose sleep over it because this is how nature has been created. Uh, this 
you know, if the if the female, you know, uh, stream actually know that it's not conducive or you know that there's, it's, it's not right to actually have it, that's the reason why she dropped her eggs and it's also the reason why she's not holding on and waiting until it matures. So, uh, not only, so are there other, uh, you know, things that could actually, you know, trigger them to actually drop their eggs? Yes, definitely, uh, there will be. Uh, like for example, if the if they are newly minted females, like for example, a new newly grown up female, first time married, first time mom, uh, she may not have the experience of it. She probably will drop her eggs, so nothing to worry about. She will bury again and then keep going. So where does one need to actually get worried when when you keep seeing the the eggs being dropped? So for example, if you have one clutch and it drops, and then in the next month, it buried again and it dropped within the first 10 days. I think that's where you actually want to take a look and see what's the reason. Uh, usually when there's a problem, the streams don't breed. Meaning that when there's a problem, there will not be buried streams. However, when there is buried streams and there's often uh, kicking out of the eggs, I think that's where you actually need to pay a little bit more attention to. Uh, there could also be degradation. That's what I've uh, mentioned in the, I think two years ago in one of the videos about degradation. Uh, that is where uh, we need to pay attention where the inbreeding has been uh, too much, too much inbreeding. So signs of inbreeding will be, you know, the, the female keep dropping her eggs. Uh, second is that the babies will never survive under any condition. So every time when they, uh, they, they throw out the, the babies, uh, then it, it just dies. So, you know, uh, one of the things that we have to look at, uh, especially when uh, you've meet all these or you face uh, such situations whereby the streams actually the babies do not survive or you know the, the mom keep dropping her eggs and and these are signs of degradation the signs of degradation means that uh, the streams are too inbred and you need to kind of like you know do outcrossing and uh, do close close cousin breeding so there's a lot of selective breeding involved in that sense uh, however it takes a long time before it reaches there uh, it doesn't mean it will not reach uh, but it takes a long time to reach there uh, but then again, you know, uh, do not be, do not overthink the, the situation and then start adding this and that. For example, if let's say, oh, you know, uh, my, I, I, I see that there's no, there's no babies, uh, my, my female stream has dropped all her eggs. What should I do? Should I, you know, add this? Uh, is there insufficient bacteria? Is there insufficient this and that? Is there insufficient food? Is there insufficient biofilm? So do not do anything out of the extraordinary. So I think that's where uh, I want to drive the message across is that if it buries before, it will bury again. However, if it buries again and it doesn't hold the eggs for many times over two or three consecutive times, then there is a true issue. And I think that's where you need to seek help to see where you know where where do you get the strings from? Uh, how long the lineage has been? Uh, was it uh, being in, inbred too much? So these are some of the information you have to get back to the breeder and ask uh, some of the history and some of the the, the process or how, how they actually maintain their streams uh, to actually you know get to that point of time. So all new streams will undergo eggs dropping. So do not be um, you know too concerned about it. Uh, so just you know, relax, you know, let them do what they do. Uh, every time, the first time they, they, they get buried, uh, even a new tank, even they are, you know, kind of like old streams, uh, if they are new tank, sometimes they still, you know, drop their eggs. And if one, or, if one of them drop the eggs and some don't drop, that's still fine. But if all drop of them, then it's actually still fine as well. Because at the end of the day, it's a new tank. Uh, they need time to actually adapt. So uh, do not, you know, stress yourself <clears throat> too much over, over it. So uh, in summary, you know, uh, there are few things that you need to take note of. For example, uh, if the streams drop the eggs too often, too frequently, uh, too consecutive times, uh, then you have to pay attention. If the babies uh, do not survive over past 10 days or 14 days, uh, you also have to take a look at uh, where are some of the concerned areas. So for new tank syndrome, uh, shifting of tank, resetting of tanks, if the egg drops, you know, some of this uh, will not be uh, any big concerns in, in that sense. So time will actually uh, help you uh, get through it because then the next 
the next mode, the next berry, uh, definitely it will actually hold the hold the eggs much longer, and then you will have plenty of babies. So, hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video. And for those who like this video, please remember to give a thumbs up. And for those who you know are new to this channel, please remember to uh, subscribe to this channel. And appreciate a uh, new join member to to uh, to this to my channel. Uh, so really appreciate it. It actually gives me uh, support in that sense. So remember that all proceeds will go to any of these. Uh, kind of like uh, increase in uh, technology and things that I actually try to provide more better more and better videos for you guys so until next time